Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Wow. Hey, everyone. It's so great to be connecting with all of you. What a great show. And I'm not going to talk a whole lot here, Mr. Benny. And the reason I'm not is because TK Mitchell is in the house, founder of Lifestyle 120. And we're going to be talking about, you ready? 12 things your mama never told you about gluten (laughs) with my co-host, Lifestyle 120 co-host, TK Mitchell. 12 things your mama never told you about gluten. (laughs) I love this, TK. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hey there, Pat. Happy summer solstice. Yeah, I would tell you, my, let me tell you, my folks are from the South on Mm -hmm. my mom's side. And I want to tell you, they don't even understand the whole gluten thing. There is, I don't think that, you know, for the first early years of my life Mm -hmm. that we got much on the table that wasn't breaded and deep fried right there. Nobody was thinking about that at the time. Yeah, (laughs) no, absolutely. Yeah. No. Tell me a little bit about why the gluten-free diet, or I don't like to call it diet. Let's use your term. The gluten-free lifestyle is something that has been surging in popularity like craziness. So much so, TK, Mm -hmm. that it's driven the market and the products out there to change. Yeah. I mean, there's so much to talk about. I was just wondering if people even know what gluten is. Tell us. First of all, yeah. No, we don't. So, yeah, because, you know, like say, Mama never told us. She never quizzed us on the definition of gluten and never gave us a spelling quiz, you know, for our spelling test every week on that. So, what? yeah, there's a lot of discussion today regarding wheat and gluten. And, you know, really gluten is – Nothing more than a wheat protein. Um, actually, it's a combination of two proteins found in wheat. Uh, and, and a relative of the wheat protein is also found in related grains like barley, rye, and spelt. Now, the two proteins for everybody's uh, information is called gliadin and glutenin. And when combined, uh, they create gluten, which sole purpose is to help nourish the plant's embryos. Now, if you think of gluten as the glue that holds ingredients together, it's it's a major feature in giving breads and rolls that yummy, chewy texture. And the protein helps to bind the breads, the crackers, the pastas, the desserts uh, to create a denser product. Um, now, it, it's it, it's very interesting how, how this is, though, because... Um, it's very controversial nowadays, yeah. and, and there's so much to talk about. Um, it, it's just it's such a big topic, and, and there's so many varying opinions about gluten and yeah. so many questions. I, I think one of the major questions that people are probably wondering is why, why is wheat toxic today? Yeah, I mean, that is the major question. That. Right. Because and it goes against everything we grew up with. Exactly. It goes exactly. against every single thing we grew up with. For example… Mm-hmm. The a great American lunch item, the sandwich. Mm-hmm, the sandwich, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And uh, of course, like I say, Mama never knew about that. But um, glu- gluten really may not be the only issue. Of course, you know, wheat has been consumed for thousands of years. So, why are there so many issues today with autoimmune health? Mm-hmm. So, uh, some some believe that the reason why so many are experiencing inflammation in the intestines is because genetically, the human body was not designed to digest wheat. I mean, that's what some think. I mean, the Paleolithic diet, uh, the Paleo diet, aka what is it, caveman diet, mm-hmm. is based on foods that 
um, are, are or were available to early humans. And the idea is that if we ate like Paleolithic humans, we would yeah. have less health concerns. Mm. Uh, that includes like fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts and meat, and avoiding dairy and processed foods. And guess what? Grains, which you know the glutens. Um, that's one. And then perhaps the problem with wheat lies in the milling process, which allows uh, grains to be stored for long period of, periods of time. And um, others believe that the wheat crop has changed dramatically over the centuries uh, and that today it's not worth eating due to toxic chemicals used in farming practices. Um, and uh, we guess that since late 1800s, everything changed in the way we grow. Uh, process and eat wheat, uh, taking the whole grain and processing it into white flour and then radically modifying it genetically, uh, GMOs there, uh, and spraying it with synthetic pesticides and herbicides. Well, it's not the same product that great grandparents may have enjoyed at their dining table. At their no, it's not. Farm I, years ago. It's not. Mm-hmm. And we're not just talking. If we could just stop for a minute and, mm-hmm. and just and just go through this, you know, in a little bit more detail, because I, I want to really dig into what you just said. Yes. So let's talk about what grandma didn't do. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what my grandma didn't do is she didn't open up a jar or a can mm-hmm. and or, or a box and right. boom there it is yes. so when we're talking about pesticides for a moment if we could mm-hmm. uh we're not just talking about oh okay i've got some fruit and we've sprayed it no yeah it's like anything that comes in a box a can a jar right yes a, a container of any kind that you think is cooked we yes. don't even know where those ingredients come from. Exactly. At whereas, all. L- like you said, whereas Grandma did. Mm-hmm. I mean, she had um, her products right there in the home, and she had her fresh eggs, her fresh milk, and if, you know the, the fresh wheat. And so she made the uh, the breads fresh right there on the spot. Whereas now we've got all these preservatives and everything. We really don't. I mean, it says whole grain, but if you look at the label, it could be completely something totally different than what we would expect it to be. So that that could be um, a major issue, I think, at this particular point. And um, and then there's, of course, the uh, uh, an issue regarding the Battle of the Bulge. I mean, according to Dr. William Davis, you know, the author of Wheat Belly, um, he says that wheat is addictive. Uh, the more we eat, the more we want. And he states that the issue is with that one protein I spoke of, gliadin. And so, like I said, there, there's so much to, to discuss with this. But that's sort of like what people are talking about and, and why this could be an issue. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, we've got um, uh, celiac disease. Um, and, and that's com- Tell folks out about that the- because we've yeah. heard that and maybe mm-hmm. we haven't heard that. But right. let's talk about that for a minute. There are right. some people that say – uh, it's an allergy or an allergy response. Mm-hmm. What's your mm-hmm. take on it? Well, you know, um, celiac disease is this a serious disease. And uh, that yummy, chewy texture uh, that we talked about in wheat can be a major problem for those people, especially um, those dealing with celiac disease. Now, celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder um, and uh, where the where digestion of gluten uh, can lead to uh, damage of the the small intestines and make it difficult for the body to absorb uh, the nutrients. So upon consumption of gluten, those with celiac disease experience a progressive deterioration of the villi, and that's the, the hair-like projections within the small intestines. And, and to provide an illustration, um, everyone hold your hands out for a minute. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold straight your hands. out. You want straight to out in front of you. Yeah, just hold your hands out in front of you. Okay. Your fingers that you see out in front of you represent the villi, and the villi help to absorb the vitamins and the nutrients that nourish the body and help us sustain energy for everyday activities. Now, pull your fingers down. When the villi begin to flatten as a result of gluten consumption, poor absorption can occur. And so uh, celiac disease can be very painful. Uh, Side effects include like anemia, irritability, weight loss, oh, my gosh, stomach pains, extreme fatigue, skin rashes, joint pain, diarrhea, cramping, bloating, constipation, depression, flatulence, nutrient deficiencies, on and on and on. 
And although there's no cure for celiac, if one adheres to a gluten-free diet, they can slowly reverse the damage to the small intestine. And the only way for those with celiac to avoid the pain is to avoid gluten. Now, according to Dr. Joseph Murray, uh, the renowned uh, gastroenterologist at the, at the Mayo Clinic, who runs a celiac disease research and clinical program, he discovered that 1% of United States adults have celiac disease. Um, it has become more common than it was 50 years ago, but it's unclear why. And he also says that the number of people going gluten-free outnumbers those who truly have the biological problem uh, tolerating gluten and that there's no evidence indicating an increase in gluten sensitivity, however, over the last 35 years. Um, so what do you and, make of that, though? Let's talk about that for a minute mm-hmm. because what do you make of that? I mean, if people don't have – celiac is a, uh, a very what uh, aggressive. Let me use yes. that term. Yes. If you have celiac, let me, let's just talk about what that means for somebody. Mm-hmm. If you have celiac, what that means is that even if you get a, a gluten-free product yes, and that that product is made – pizza, perfect yes. example. Right. If you have celiac and, and you're putting the pizza, in the gluten-free pizza, in the same oven mm-hmm. that has other pizza – Yes. Chances are when your gluten-free pizza comes out and you eat it, you'll have a reaction to it. You could, right? you could have a reaction, right? Could have because, a reaction uh, to because it. of the cross-contamination. Exactly. And and so it's it's but you know, new science shows though that that those who have celiac disease should also be concerned about gluten non-gluten proteins. Mm-hmm. which can also trigger reactions because yep. uh, gluten accounts for only 75% of wheat protein. So it gets kind of complicated because a wheat allergy is different from a gluten intolerance. And people yep. with wheat allergies are allergic to a wheat protein, which is not necessarily gluten. The proteins in wheat can cause allergic reactions. Uh, those particular proteins, what, what, what is the, um, albumin and globulin, mm-hmm. I mean, these, some of these terms are really difficult to mouth. So some with wheat allergies may be able to tolerate gluten-containing grains <laughs> like barley and rye. Yeah. So, yeah, is you have to be so very, very careful. And hopefully um, during the show I can talk a little bit about my experiences yeah. and how, um, even though I'm not – uh, I don't have celiacs, still, you know, how to go out into the restaurants mm-hmm. and enjoy yourself and how to travel and how to have a good time, even though you may, you know, have, have these, yeah. these issues. Yeah, well, so, let's take yeah. a short break. Let's okay. take a short break. And when we come back, we'll have you share your story because okay. there are those of us that don't have celiac. But mm-hmm. if we go down the pathway of eating gluten, something mm-hmm. changes in our body. Yes. Something happens. Your legs might swell. Your Mm -hmm. body may go into a state of inflammation. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know, but TK is going to tell us about it. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. Tune in to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. 
Visit the fear and anxiety solution.com to learn more. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Almost everyone at some time in their lives ask themselves, what am I? Most of our questions are ego generated and simply don't address the problem of our false self. It's time to relax your ego and embody your soul. Dr. Dan Cohen, neurologist, inventor, and author has created tools to awaken a new way to transform from who you thought you were into what you truly are. Visit tools to awaken.com today. But I don't mind Just wanna rock your girl I'll have whatever you Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's great to have you here. I'm Dr. Pat. You're uh, listening on Transformation Talk Radio. I have a very special co-host joining me here today, TK Mitchell, 12 Things Your Mama Never Told You About Gluten. This is our Lifestyle 120 creator and someone that knows and has studied how to help each and every one of us show up optimally healthy. Uh, TK, uh, before we jump in and we pick up about uh, that sensitivity to gluten, Mm -hmm. what's the best way for folks to find out about you? And you've got a super recipe for us. Yes, I do. Well, visit me on, uh, go to my website, lifestyle120.com and check out my services there. Um, I'm a holistic health and wellness coach. I, I support women who are transitioning through significant life challenges by helping them make better lifestyle choices so they can live the life they love. So check that out and um, uh, sign up for my mailings. I have a blog and a newsletter. Uh, There's also recipes on my website. All the recipes, by the way, are (laughs) gluten-free on my website, but I've got a special one for you uh, today. And so hopefully we'll have a chance to talk about that. But it's called Buckwheat Crackling Krispies, and it is yummy. So take take a look at that. That's on um, the the website. And it's also... um, on the information that you're sharing there too, Pat. Absolutely. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I love it. So you guys, one of the things I want you to know is you can find out a lot uh, if you go to Lifestyle 120 and uh, we're going to give you lots more information. TK, let's talk about, you know, where we are with this sensitivity question. Yes. I okay. mean, we say sensitivity as if it were, oh, okay, you know, if I brush up against some thistle, I'm going to have like a little itch. Mm-hmm. But it can be even more d- uncomfortable than that. It can be more uncomfortable. And I think this is one of the the, uh, the fourth item here that, that Mama never, never explained um, about gluten sensitivity because because um, there are, gosh, um, a pro- I just say more than 10% of the United States population now is, is gluten intolerant. And 6 million people in the United States are on a gluten-free diet, even though they may not have symptoms or haven't been diagnosed with celiac. So it's a choice there. But you ask the question, well, so what's going on here? Why are they? Well, health expert, experts estimate, like I said, that 10 or, or more percent of the population um, have unrelated or misunderstood conditions known as non-celiac gluten tolerance or gluten sensitivity. And although the symptoms may be similar to the ones reviewed for celiac disease, non-celiac gluten intolerance does not appear to be genetically based as celiac is. Now, uh, Dr. Rodney Ford, a food allergy expert from New Zealand, um, coined that term that some people have heard of called gluten syndrome. Um, and he says that one third of chronic illnesses could be attributed to gluten sensitivity. 
Um, that's a pretty big number. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, yeah. It is pretty big. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And many people appear to be adopting, uh, or I should say adopting gluten-free, should be opting for a gluten-free diet because of the benefits that they expect to gain. However, avoiding uh, this disagreeable protein may not be necessary for everyone. And as we know, gluten-free has become a booming business, and we can see evidence of this in, in many restaurants, grocery stores, entertainment venues, everywhere. There are so many gluten-free options out there, all of which, by the way, are not necessarily good for us. So, yeah, I um, I like to share a little bit, too, because um, yeah, I was, I was suffering from a number of health issues 10 years ago when my... Yeah integrative doctor recommended a food allergy test and and when the results came back we discovered that gluten was a, was in the significant range so wow. i have a number of other sensitivities uh that that had to be and i had to completely revamp my entire lifestyle so it took a while to get used to but i never felt deprived because like i said there's so many wonderful alternatives on the market and i must say that this specialized way of living has been a blessing uh, and has served me quite well. Um, when I was diagnosed, I went cold turkey on everything I was allergic to. Uh, the health issues um, have been reversed uh, that I was experiencing, uh, not to mention the extra added benefit of significant weight loss at the time. But now when I was growing up, my mama prepared the most delicious, wholesome meals. And of course, she was not aware of my sensitivities. But looking back now, some some of those wholesome meals contained items that were not good for me and as a young adult I remember enjoying my favorite dense whole grain breads and love slathering butter on sourdough oh yummy (laughs) Um, oh my gosh what I didn't know then (laughs) that I know now is that even though what I was eating was quote-unquote healthy a healthy alternative to the soft white gluey bread it was not healthy for me so yeah, there's this. It's it, it's a lot to consider. Yeah, um, and, and yeah. you know, figuring it out too. I think mm-hmm. one of the things you talk about is you know we may not be able to figure these things out by ourselves. So right. You mentioned testing. I yes. mean, I don't even you, you know people may not even know that that's even a possibility. Yeah. So we would highlight that for them too, because uh, another thing is that you know even though Mama scheduled those annual exams for the family and she, she was very health conscious. Um, she was not really, she, because she didn't know about gluten testing, why would she think about that with family members? So, um, doctors can diagnose celiac disease in a number of ways. Mm -hmm. First of all, a biopsy of the small intestines or an endoscopy to view images of the villi I was talking about earlier, or a blood test to measure the amount of certain antibodies, which are commonly, uh, elevated when, uh, when reactive to gluten. Uh, it's important, though, not to self-diagnose. Uh-huh. I want to make sure that's clear because symptoms that you're experiencing could be related to h- other health issues like irritable bowel sy- syndrome or other food sensitivities, and you won't know. Um, people can also try the elimination diet, uh, removing gluten-containing foods that, and then reintroduce them, keeping a food journal, recording your intake and symptoms over the course of a few weeks. However, some may mistakenly follow a gluten-free diet, which may not uh, be completely necessary for relieving their symptoms. And on the other hand, some may be gluten sensitive, which can be difficult to diagnose. So you've eliminated the bread and you feel better. But was it the gluten or was it the egg and the dairy products in the bread? So there's so much to consider, and I say knowledge is key. If you think you may be gluten-sensitive, it's important to get tested before starting a gluten-free diet because your test results may not be accurate if you have been following a gluten-free diet for an extended period of time. So, so I mean, and, it's important mm-hmm. to figure it out because if mm-hmm. it's not gluten, you want to know what it is. You want to know what it is. That's why I I always recommend a complete battery, you know, of of food, um, food allergy tests. So you really do know because if you're taking one item out and then you're reintroducing it, okay, that may work. But then uh, you may not be considering other things that you are removing for from your diet. You may not be aware of those. And so you may, may still feel a little ill and not really know why. 
Um, so, yeah, I, I, I would suggest a full food allergy test if you are feeling ill and you've done everything uh, as far as, you know, t- keeping that food journal and trying to eliminate uh, mm-hmm. one item at a time. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, um, th- there's another thing, too, that, you know, uh, talking about mama and keeping track of all yeah. these numbers here, you know, because, you know, she never really told us that um, – Gluten is in every single thing, right? And um, we didn't and, know. We don't know that though. I mean, we, we didn't know that. know that. We didn't know that. I don't that think at we. Time. I think we're just finding out now. But most people, if you ask people uh, mm-hmm. today, and you say, "Did you know that gluten was in everything?" Yeah. I don't. I don't think they'd say, "Oh yeah, I do." Right. Right. They wouldn't say that. They wouldn't say that now. Mm-hmm. So um, and. Gluten is in just about everything, and it seems like it's directly related to um, volume and cost. And so um, wheat flour, wheat germ, wheat bran, and malt, which is made from barley, are sometimes added to packaged foods, baby foods, soups and gravies and sauces as fillers, binders and thickeners. Um, You know, I was reading an interesting article called Celiac Disease and Gluten Intolerance from the the Balance You Need website. And it was discussing how companies have been using gluten to uh, get a better return on the product. Uh, but at the expense of our health, of course. Yeah. I, I mean, think think about it. I mean, if you frequent the fast food rest, if you fr- frequent the fast food chains, you notice that bigger is better. Okay, so people tend to be opting for for the triple burger, super fries, monster size sodas, right? Right. Um, you're right. So the same thing is happening in the food industry in general. So volume is king, and gluten is used for volume. Uh, this allows food companies to slash cost while beefing up the size of products. And how's the food industry able to do this? By adding gluten. And so the question is, is adding gluten to products posing a health concern? So I I wonder about that. You know, let's talk about it. I mean, Mm -hmm. the fact that people don't know that gluten is being added to products, I think that raises a flag in a couple of different ways for people. First of all, Gluten is is not a substance that has nutritional value, so we should talk about that for a minute. Yes. It's like, oh, I get to, oh, let me tell you how much vitamin, let me tell you how much B12 I get from gluten, right? Yes, exactly. So it, there's not even that trade-off, is there? No, there's not even that trade-off. And and then wanting to mention too, because people are probably wondering, well, shouldn't be some, some kind of labeling uh, going on with gluten then since, you know, people are sensitive to it? And I would say yes to all of that. Um, I just want to let our, our listeners know, too, that as of August 2014, which was not that long ago, all manufacturers of FDA-regulated uh, regulated packaged foods, uh, th- those foods uh, claiming to be gluten-free, are required to comply with FDA guidelines. So when you see items or terms like gluten-free and no gluten, that means something. It means that... Uh, first of all, the product does not have a gluten-containing grain. Mm-hmm. Uh, second, it doesn't have an ingredient derived from gluten-containing grain. Third, um, it it has been pro- it it has it has not been processed to re- to remove the gluten. And fourth, if it has been processed to remove gluten, the product contains less than twenty parts. Per million, and, and that's that PPM that you may see on yeah. labels of gluten. And five, if any avoidable gluten is in the food due to cross contamination, which you're talking about earlier, Pat, right. it is <clears throat> less than 20 uh, PPMs. Of the, and then also the last item, then six, is the product is naturally gl- gluten free, like a package of swab. So this whole 20 PPMs is considered safe currently there's no test that can provide a zero reading so if if you'd like more more information on this i don't have time to talk about all of that but if you like more information i'd just like to share with our our listeners uh, more more detailed information on gluten-free la- labeling see the fda's ruling on gluten-free food labeling on the beyondceliac.org website and um you know just considering that Ten percent or more of the population is gluten intolerant. Yeah. A- and another question would be: Should food packaging companies be required to list gluten as an ingredient, whether or not it claims to be gluten free? 
So, you know, there's this a lot, lot of research. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, a lot you know, of questions. A lot, lot of yeah. questions. And, you know, new research is looking closer at the connection to genetics and nutrition, uh, the environment, the immune system. And, of course, more research is needed. And in the meantime, I just want to say this is the way I look at it. Um, it's important to make informed decisions about your own health uh, and become a label sleuth if you're preparing to live gluten-free. Even if you're not preparing to live gluten-free, um, you need to take uh, a more active approach with your health and just be, you know, just recognize what's going on with the food industry and what you're actually purchasing in the grocery stores. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. it is really the first place to start. When we come mm-hmm. back, though, um, one of the things TK is going to help us with is, okay, now that I've become educated, now I'm informed, mm-hmm. now what? Yeah. Do I have to change up my kitchen? Absolutely. Uh, should I take things in the cabinets and throw them out? Stay tuned, everybody. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get some insight in how to make this work. We'll be right back with the show. My very special co-host here today, TK Mitchell. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine. Many of us have been overwhelmed when we discover how powerful we truly are. We really can change things. When we set an intention and move in a direction, we uncover the blocks, the fear, and the agreements that until now we have believed would keep us safe and preserve the status quo. What if today you allow that power, allow that moment, and that overwhelm Just sit with it as long as you can. Need help? Visit LeslieFontaine.com and let's talk about unfolding all that you want to be, do, and have. You'll find sessions, classes, and audio products to help remove the blocks and move you into your potential. And listen to my show, Sheer Alchemy, on Transformation Talk Radio, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Francine Vale is a being of light. She believes that all people of planet Earth are as well. As co-host of the Angel Healer radio show, Francine teaches you heart-centered ways to manifest healing on your own behalf and how to integrate love more fully into your daily life. Connect with your angels as you find your life flowing with ease and harmony. Walk the path of light with Francine and Dr. Pat Basili every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Have you ever tried to make lifestyle changes but had difficulty following through? Imagine what it would be like to get up each morning with energy, clarity, and motivation to tackle the day. If you want to get past limiting barriers that are preventing you from living your best life, join holistic health and wellness coach T. Carrie Mitchell each month on The Dr. Pat Show. Or visit Lifestyle120.com today and start to receive the personal attention you deserve. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. We're very excited. Uh, I want to give everybody a heads up. Tomorrow, you may come to Transformation Talk Radio, the Dr. Pat Show. 
and you may see the website start to change. Some of you may be seeing some of the changes already, but you'll see that the design will begin to change. Don't worry. We're in the process of what we like to call phase one of our new technology. It's been two years in the making. Mm. Uh, TK Mitchell joining me here today because she has dedicated an entire life. Uh, so when we talk about TK in the making, we're talking about in the making to help all of us live a long, healthy, and amazingly prosperous life. Oh, love you know, it. That's yes. what you're about. That's, that's what, what you I'm about. Do. Right. Yeah. Yeah, especially uh, longevity. Longevity, like longevity, that's Longevity is it. And I'm that's telling it. you, we cannot be longevity if we're yeah. putting gluten in our body and we're that's raising right. inflammation, right? That's right. right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so how do we get all this set up? I know people are listening oh. in because they want they want to uh, prepare their kitchens. They want to know what that's to right. do and, and so forth. And so we're, we're all the way down, gosh, I think, to, um, what is it, item eight? How do you go uh, about it? Oh. Now, i got to tell okay, you, here's what we'll do. this is daunting. And here's why. Yes, yeah. I call Linda. And mm-hmm. Linda comes. When Linda comes to visit me, she yes. is the queen of doing what you're about to say. Yeah. So unless you want to rent out Linda, yeah. here's where you pay attention. Take a few notes to TK. Okay, let's go. Okay, so um, again, you know, we, we must be discriminating shoppers, first of all. You know, gluten-free sales have skyrocketed over the last few years and are expected to grow beyond $2 billion next year. Can you imagine? So here's the most important tip of the day. The most important tip, eat single ingredient foods that don't require labels. For example, there are no labels on tomatoes and berries and salmon. Uh, Most gluten-free foods are gluten-free naturally. And since wheat is the nation's main grain product, those with gluten issues must avoid most items in the bakery, bread, and packaged food departments. But there's good news. There's a variety of gluten-free options on the market today. For instance, brown rice noodles, quinoa pasta, gluten-free breads, etc. So, you know, they're out there for you. So when shopping for groceries, watch for products also with high sugar content and products with high sodium content. These are healthy practices whether or not you require a gluten-free lifestyle. Remember, just because the label says gluten-free does not mean it's, it's the product that you, you should put in your basket. Now, there are some red flags. First of all, wheat, uh, kemet, spelt, rye, barley, modified food starch, soy sauce, malt, malt vinegar, which is made from barley, and um, hydrolyzed vegetable protein. I mean, if, if you're cooking in your kitchen, you wouldn't use that anyway. <laughs> so, But those are the things that you need to be aware of. Um, and all these contain wheat. Okay, so now people always question about oats. Oats do not naturally contain gluten, but through cross-contamination may contain gluten. So your oat product should say processed in a gluten-free facility. Now, the list is long, like breakfast cereals and breadcrumbs and canned soups and cookies and cakes and pies. And, you know, we talked about pastas and noodles and crackers and frozen dinners and pancake mixes and energy bars. Do these sound like natural products? No. Now, listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't just say TV dinners. Did you just say that? TV dinners, Did you just say that? Oh, my goodness. I grew up on those. Oh, no, true confessions. Absolutely. And instant sauces and gravies and pretzels and salad dressings and processed meat and frozen desserts. I mean, these are all processed foods. So they're going to have some of those things that we talked about. Avoid everything here um, because it could contain gluten. But whether you're going gluten-free or not, you have to watch those items because, again, those are processed foods. So naturally gluten-free food. Uh, our, for our listeners, corn, of course, non-GMO, and 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 oh, you know, oh good luck with that. Get that. We're, that's a whole nother. That's show. another show. Okay, when are we going to do show. the GMO okay. show? So right, right, GMO show. Okay, so corn and buckwheat, yep. oats and rice and quinoa and amaranth and teff. I love teff and millet. Those are gluten free as well as nuts. I love amaranth. Yes, I love do you amaranth. Do? Oh, amaranth. I think it is, is the best flavor. kept secret on the planet right now. Yes, there. that's a fabulous product. Um, and eggs and meats and fish and fresh fruits and vegetables and beans and lentils and herbs and spices. 
all those natural foods. Um, to avoid contamination, I just I guess I have to say too, especially for those who are listening who may be celiac, to make sure to clean out your utensil drawers and replace your wooden utensils with and, and cutting boards. Now, remember, if you are not having symptoms uh, that we discussed earlier and you are not gluten sensitive, minimally processed, organic whole wheat products don't need to be eliminated from your shopping list unless you are just making a personal choice to do so. So for optimal health, eat fresh whole foods rich in vitamins and minerals. Now Lifestyle 120, that's my my business, can help you design a wellness plan that will meet your specific needs. I'd love to do that with you. Um, The other thing too, uh, going along with this, is some, some people think, okay, now does that mean that I can't dine out anymore? I can't go to parties? I can't travel? Well, does it mean that? A, Are you going to say it means that? I'm going to say it absolutely does not mean that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scaring so, me now, TK? You get me a little no, scared okay, right there. A little scared. Okay, so <laughs> another thing, you know, because, you know, Mama didn't tell you about that. She knew a few runs that the family knew, but um, item number nine, okay, eating out for those with celiac disease or gluten intolerance can be hazardous due to the cross contamination okay that's one thing so you must know your restaurants also travel requires extra precautions now i always say it's about the meeting and the greeting and not so much about the eating Uh, many restaurants are now accommodating and have gluten-free menus now when you're getting ready to attend a party it's a good idea to eat a little snack before you leave home so that you won't be hungry also, you can tell the host about your situation and, and offer to bring a dish. So there there's some options in there. There are ways to handle this. Now, I have had positive experience when traveling because I take small prepackaged snacks to last the entire trip. You know, the, the, the air... If the airplane food is not really the greatest, so I have to have snacks on hand. But oh, yeah. I've, I've done quite well even on cruises because I notify the proper staff in advance And so with the right mindset and a little preparation, gluten-free living lifestyle is quite manageable. I mean, I have not missed anything. Um, And then uh, we we talked about the the treat that I have for everyone. Hopefully everybody's tapped into that too for that recipe that came directly from my website, uh, uh, Buckwheat Crackling Crispy Recipe. So I think that you'll enjoy that. Yeah, I, I want to do something here that I never do, but I, I, I know you're going to appreciate this. Okay. I don't do this. Uh, so I am ultra sensitive like you, right? Yes. And yes. I've been on my own journey. And mm-hmm. so here's what I love about today's show. Yes. Now, I don't hardly ever mention a product. I don't. Mm-hmm. But I've got to mention this because I thought for me, that my life growing up with a mom from the South, right? Are you ready for this? Because TK, you know this story. As a matter of fact, maybe we should just skip the break, Benny, because we got so much to talk about. Mm-hmm. But here's what I want to say to people. I thought I had to give up this, that, and the other thing. The thing that I gave up that, oh, my gosh, it caused me pain other mm-hmm. than bread, because I'm not Oprah. We're not doing the bread, mm-hmm. was any kind of barbecue sauce or sauce like that. Yes. But do you know what I discovered? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. What is I it? discovered your TK. I discovered CB Stubblefield mm. Stones Barbecue. Oh, yes. OMG. Yes. Now, I don't pitch products, and yes. we are not affiliated with this gentleman. But mm-hmm. I will tell you, no high fructose corn syrup, low sugar, gluten free. OMG, it is the best. You know there that you is so an awesome product. So we can find product. things. We just yes. got to look. Yes. You know, that is a great product. I know that product that you're talking about. It is phenomenal. I'm trying and to like get say, it for an interview. I'm trying to get his peeps. The peeps. Oh, that would interview. be great. That'd be great. Because like I said, there's so many wonderful products out there mm-hmm. um, that, you know, when you get into this one, and I can help you with that if you're thinking, I mean, that that's what I do. So yeah. I, I can I can. How help can people with that. work with you so that they can, listen, Mm -hmm. It took me years to figure this out for myself. And I worked with a phenomenal naturopath, Dr. Darvish. But people listening to this show, if you feel like your head's right now going to explode, TK, you work with people. You customize and you help people get on the pathway 
to longevity and an amazing life. And it's so, all individualized, right? Yeah, it's it all. Is. And, and, How do people know, work with you? How can we get well, to work with you? You can go to my website and check out my services, or you can just call. The number is 708-899-0908. Um, call and, and set up an appointment. Be happy to, happy to speak with you. And for the family. You. Yes. And this is for the families too. For the because, families, for the families. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, okay. um, because if, if one person is going to do this, it has to be the entire family buying into it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And like I said, you'd be amazed at the fabulous products out there. Yeah. Now, this this particular product you're talking about is phenomenal. But see, I personally have a issue with garlic as well and see garlic and there's a lot of those fabulous um dressings and sauces that i want to try but you know i I have to even avoid that so i'm i'm familiar with all of them um and like i said some products are better than others but i do like that product that you mentioned yeah that's great that's a great one i I, and what i want to say about it is the problem Mm -hmm. that i have with a lot of these things is that somewhere buried in them is something weird that gets me yeah Uh, the good news for me is I'm not like you because mm-hmm. if I'd have had to give up garlic, yes. forget it. Game over. Okay. Right. You have so, a recipe for us. How do we get the recipe? Okay. Buck the wheat crackling crispy. Yeah. So, the recipe, um, if they've tapped into the show, they should see that because it's on, it's on your website. I yes, mean, it's it on, is. yeah, it's right there. Um, however, there are a couple other ways they can go directly to okay. my website in the recipe section and find it there, or you can Google buckwheat crackling crispies. It's right there. And this is a phenomenal recipe. It has, um, uh, buckwheat groats and it has cashew butter and cinnamon and vanilla and uh, agave nectar and the sugar count content is just like one quarter of a cup of, of agave for 12 squares so it's very very low in sweetener so it's yeah. awesome it tastes so good it'll be a great alternative but there are other recipes there on my website as well have we but, ever um, done a show on on mm-hmm. sweetener sugar and things just on that Oh, I'd we like should, to. We yeah, should we do should that. think about doing that. Yeah, um, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. All right. So listen, yeah, we'll do that. mm-hmm. that's what we're talking about. We're talking about resources now, right? Resources, right. Yeah, resources. For many yeah. of us, uh, uh, you know, I'm a busy person and our listeners are really busy. If you listen to the folks that call into the last show and so forth, you could see how busy they are. Yeah. But let's talk about what's available now that mm-hmm. wasn't even TK available five, ten years ago, Okay. Yeah, the ones that Mama didn't know about, right? Exactly. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. so um, yeah, these wonderful recipes. Like I said, she was a great resource for everything, mm-hmm. but um, she wouldn't have been able to tell us about this because she didn't know. So um, we've got uh, gluten-free books and magazines, and, and there are so many out there that are wonderful. I'm just going to highlight a few and uh, so that you can quickly write these down. But these are ones that I've seen myself and the ones that I think will be valuable for, for people. Uh, one is the Essential Gluten-Free Dining Guide. Uh, by Triumph Dining, and there is a grocery guide by Triumph Dining as well. There's a gluten-free, it's called Gluten-Free Diet, a comprehensive resource guide by Shelly Case. There's a gluten-free nutrition guide uh, by Trisha Thompson. Uh, Real Life with Celiac Disease by Melinda Dennis. And of course, Wheat Belly, Total Health by William Davis, uh, Dr. William Davis, MD. Um, as far as magazines, there's a lot of magazines out there. Three that I've tapped into that, that I think are very, very good. Not to say the others aren't, but like I said, there's so much out there. Um, Gluten-Free Living Magazine is one that I would recommend take a look at. Living Without and More Magazine, second one. And a third one is Simply Gluten-Free Magazine. That's an excellent resource. And um, there's so many educational sites. I mean, the, here's just a, a sampling. Uh, the in, uh, National Institute of Health, it's called celiac.nih.gov, uh, will give you some information. Uh, gluten-Free Intolerance Group is called gluten.net. The University of Chicago Disease Center uh, called CureCeliacDisease.org is a good reference, is a good resource, I should say. These are all educational sites. Uh, the GlutenExchange.com and a Celiac Association, Celiac Support Association um, has a great article um, that everyone will find wonderful called uh, Label Reading 101. That's excellent um, if you're planning on going gluten-free or if you have to because you have celiac disease. 
Um, and then another thing, too, is there are support groups available as well for those suffering um, with celiacs as well as those uh, with gluten tolerance. And so this would be like um, the uh, 12th item that, that mama would most definitely support. Mm-hmm. Um, celiac Sprue Association, uh, that's uh, a CSA celiacs dot org. Yeah. There's Celiac Disease Foundation. Yeah. There is the Gluten Intolerance Group, uh, gluten dot net, and websites and blogs. Uh, just a few of these, and uh, just a few more to go here, listeners. So hold on. Um, Book of Yum is great. This is it's a blog. Uh, Elana's Pantry, uh, Gluten Free Easily dot com, uh, Gluten Free for Good dot com and glutenfree living dot com. So th- those are some great resources. Uh, just yeah. just a few resources. Like I said, just there's so few, many. Just a few, but now just we're finding many, many more. But even mm-hmm. with that, TK, what mm-hmm. I want to say is, you know, you're somebody that has dedicated your life yes. to helping people. Mm-hmm. And, you know, part of that is that you literally, as a result of that, have insider information. Yes, I feel right? that I'm a good resource as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So well, you can shorten say- you can shorten the list because yes. a lot of times we've got this list, and it's daunting when we start to go and do research. But mm-hmm. that is a one size fits all. I mean, yes. you can find a lot on the internet, but yeah. it is not custom. And it's what maybe custom. you just brought it up. What yes. may be okay for me is not okay for you, like garlic, for, for, for example. Exactly, exactly. Right. So, so my services are custom, custom design for, for the individual. And I've done a lot of the research over the last 10 years yes. um, on my own. I know what's out there. I mean, this will save you a lot of time and effort. Um, so some listeners may feel that they could use some support uh, with navigating a satisfying gluten-free lifestyle. Or well, I want to bring something else up before too long here, mm-hmm. and that is you are also the author of an amazing book yes. called Sip the Garden. Sip now, the Garden. we have talked about this before, yes. but for those people out there that are wondering, wait a minute, wait a minute, where do I go? Yes. How do I make a lifestyle change now? Yeah, well, you All know, you need book, to do is get a copy of that book. The, get get a copy go. of that book. Um, Sip the Garden, Fun Easy Drinks for a Healthier Family. We had a whole show on that, which was great. Yes. And uh, the book is available um, at Amazon.com. You can go to my website, Lifestyle 120, and check out some more information regarding the book. It'll give you a capsule of what it's about, and then you can order it um, from Amazon. But, um, yeah, the, just uh, helping people navigate a satisfying gluten-free lifestyle or, or other health goals, not just gluten-free, any health goal that you have that's the focus of my holistic health coaching business i work with individuals who are serious though about making sustainable lifestyle changes so uh know that like we said before one size does not fit all what is good for one may not be good for another that's why it's important to discover what works best for you Uh, we look at more than just food we look at every aspect of your life to prepare you for living a life you love. So absolutely contact me. I'd be happy to support you on your wellness journey. Absolutely. Well, I want to mention to folks that when you go to the website, lifestyle120.com, first of all, one of the things that people complain about a lot is when uh, they buy a book for their family, they get the book and the children are just not interested. When you get this book, When you get the book I'm talking about and Mm -hmm. you open the pages and you not only see the recipes in there, but you see how beautiful they are. I mean, I tested this out with an eight-year-old. Are you kidding me? (laughs) The problem with that is you're never going to get her out of the kitchen because they're so exciting and they're yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. But also, you do holistic health coaching. We need that. For women in transition or private sessions or group, you do nutrition classes because that's, you know, you're an expert. Mm -hmm. Um, You also have something called Ageless Grace. So there are things that you're doing to tap into uh, uh, our journey regardless of where we are. Your entire health journey. Yes, yeah. your entire health journey. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for today. Tell Thank us you. your what would you like to leave us with? I know you got an amazing personal message because you're you you're like a rock star of nutrition here. Mm. Um, <laughs> yes. I mean most people think that, you know, the health journey is all about just the food, but it's not. It's about every aspect of your life. Yeah. And and that's what I what, what I help 
individuals would. I mean, that's my passion. That's what I do. And again, uh, you can call me at 708-899-0908. Go on my website and check out my services. Uh, just kind of peruse my website there and um, take a peek at what I'm doing, a lifestyle120.com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So for you, what did you want to say and do to people to get things going? Yes. Please give me a but don't, don't delay. I mean, people putting off, you know, okay, well, I'm going to start next month. Um, I am going to uh, take a look at my health maybe this fall. Now is the time to do it. And um, I'm here as a resource for you. You have a person here that is just passionate about getting you where you want to be um, to get you to the point where you can really enjoy your life and be all that you're supposed to be, all that you're meant to be. And it starts with our help. Our lifestyle changes can get you there. Give me a buzz. Be happy to work with you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for today. Thank, Thank you. you. For all that Thank you. you. What a great show. Uh, For those of you out there, it is so great to be connecting with all of you. Again, TransformationTalkRadio.com. That's going to look very different tomorrow. The Dr. Pat Show and much more. For all of you out there, from TK and from me, let us rock on and live an amazing life gluten-free. We'll see you next time. 